Okay, hi everybody. So in this video here, we're going to take a look at an example of solving an equation. And look at what I've got here. I've got 2x squared minus x is equal to 3. Okay, so I've got a, I've got a quadratic equation going on here. Um, now to solve it, what I want to do first of all is I want to bring over every term to the same side and set it equal to 0. And the reason I want to do that is because my, my goal here at, at some point here is to get this into the point where it's the product of two or, or more factors equaling to zero. And the reason why that's so useful to me is because if I see that there's a product that is equal to zero, then I know that either one or the other or both of those factors must be equal to zero. If it's equal to any other number, then I really don't know. I, I really can't tell what it is because I can always make it work. So for example, if I know that a times b is equal to 3, I could make a equal to 5 and b would simply be equal to 3 fifths. Okay, I, I can make that work. I can make it work for kind of whatever number I choose for a and I can make b work to get me whatever solution is. So I don't really want to work it through like that. I want it equal to 0 because that really eliminates a lot of my options here. So I bring every term over, set it equal to 0, and now I'm going to factor if I can. And in this case here, I know that my first two terms must look like this. It's got to be 2x and then multiplied by x. So that when I multiply those together, I get that 2x squared. And now I need the outside product to be equal to negative 3. But I do it in such a way that when I multiply the inside terms together, their sum gets me negative 1. Well, I kind of like the, the 2 and the 3 together because I know that their difference is 1 there. So I don't want to put the 3 out here. Because then I end up multiplying that 2x by that 3, and that's going to give me a 6. So I really want that 3 there. Put a 1 there. So when I put those together, that's going to be 2x times 1 is going to be 2x. 3 times x is going to be 3x. But I want the sum of those two to be negative. So I want this one to be negative, and I want that 2x to be positive. So that when I add them together, I get that negative x. And there we go. I've got my, my quadratic factored. And now I know that either 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, either this factor here is equal to 0, or this factor here is equal to 0, okay? Or, or basically they could be both here. Now they can't simultaneously be equal to 0, but what I'm looking for here are the different values of x that make the whole expression equal to 0. So I can bring that 3 over and I will get 2x is equal to 3, so x is equal to 3 halves. That's one option. And if you plug that 3 halves into the original expression, you'll find that, yes, in fact, it does. The left-hand side does become equal to 3. In this case right here, if I bring that 1 over, I get negative 1. And if you plug negative 1 in, you do, in fact, get 3. So let's just, I tell you what, just let's check this. So just really quickly here, let's check. That's 2 uh, multiplied by 3 over 2 squared minus 3 over 2, does that get me 3? Well, this is going to be 2 times uh, 9 over 4 minus 3 over 2 is equal to 3. So it's going to be 9 over 2 minus 3 over 2 is equal to 3. 6 over 2 is equal to 3. Yes, that's true. So that 3 halves works. Now let's try the negative 1. 2 times negative 1 squared minus negative 1. Does that equal 3? Well, Negative 1 squared is going to be 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. Minus negative 1 is simply adding 1, and yep, that equals 3. So yeah, both of those values that I came up with work. So I might write it at the end here as 3 halves, comma, negative 1. <clears throat> now what you don't want to do is put parentheses around that. I know you got two numbers there, but as soon as you put parentheses around it, that first number becomes an x and the second number becomes a y. And you don't want that. So you just leave off the parentheses and you're, you're good.